I'm Kevin LaChapelle, the founder and director of Power Mentor. In about 2011, um, we did a lot of intervention in communities in City Heights uh, for at-risk communities. And I was contacted about a group of individuals that were being targeted by gang members and jumped. They told me that this was a group of people from Karen State, which I had never heard of. And I researched it, and the more I researched, the more troubled I was as to what had gone on in that region. Subsequent to that, I actually met with these young people, and we started a leadership academy for them to help them get into college. And during that time, I asked them what was their purpose for their life, and they told me to one day return back to their country and help their people. And I told them we'd be partnering with them to do just that. And a few years later, we took our first trip. The first trip we took, we didn't bring any Karen people at all. This was an exploratory trip because some people had told me this was very dangerous over there. So I actually gathered a smaller team and then we went there just to explore, to get to know people and find out what the needs were and also to see how safe was this to start a project of bringing Karen people. There was one particular general that uh, somebody had told me that they felt that he would be a good person to contact because he was open to discussions. And so we did. We ended up going and meeting with him, and it was a very powerful meeting. And uh, we, you know, we didn't go there to criticize. We we really went there to seek to understand. We shared with the leaders there that we want to start bringing some Karen people back because they want to help their people. And there was some doubt. There was some skepticism. Some of the leaders said, "Well, everyone says that, and we never see him again." And I said, I understand that, but we'll see you next year. And then the next year they saw us again. And the next year they saw us again. And then now it's been very, very beneficial. These leaders want to help their people. And so when they see people coming to bring support to the people that they know are suffering, um, They've, they've helped us carry supplies. I mean, they partner. They say, this is amazing. Thank you. presentations uh, even to military leaders and to soldiers talking about integrity and talking about not having human rights violations and not torturing people and all those kind of things and helping a lot of these militaries realize that the reality is they must transition to more of a civilian law enforcement to address issues within their own um, communities rather than always external threats. Karen people must come together, there must be unity or there will be no Kathule within a short amount of time. Half the people were from around the world, the other half were from inside refugee camps that for the first time many of them were able to get out of the refugee camp and actually see uh, their Karen country. When we went to Etuta, this is a, it's an IDP camp, individually displaced people uh, that are really struggling, about 3,000 people, very serious needs, they have no electricity, no means of really any survival. They're pushed up against the Salween River with the Burmese army flanked behind them, uh, keeping pressure on them. TCI University is located right down the Salween, not too far. So our goal was, is how do we find leaders there and develop and build them up and then provide resources here from sending money that way so that they can be the team that goes and takes a boat down with medical supplies and food to help their own people. Salo Mu is our individual there who we met because he has a cousin that lives here in San Diego. And I needed someone on the ground there that had finished school already that could really be our liaison and help us in planning because the logistical challenges in planning these trips is very significant. And he's done amazing work and he actually is our full-time person now on the ground there 
in, in leading these efforts and helping organize the young people there, the college students that are growing and developing. And now they're actually leading medical outreach efforts into areas in our absence. What sets us apart is we're using um, Karen people to help Karen people. The message that we give to refugees in the United States and actually abroad around the world is one of encouragement of them really understanding that they have a lot to offer. They were fortunate enough to be able to actually come to another country and go to school. And we talk to them about taking advantage of that and positioning themselves in the best possible way so they can be a stronger resource for their family members and friends back home in Kathule. We had a program in Washington, D.C. on November 6th of last year where 10,000 Karen people, nearly 10,000 Karen people showed up and they went there to share their culture. They did dance in front of the U.S. Capitol building, amazing things. And the ask was for the State Department to be able to reach out, work collectively with the different countries in the region, but to really try to push Burma to continue their efforts into um, really a democracy. I know it's a dangerous time. It's an uncertain world right now, and I know that maybe it doesn't rise to the level of North Korea or other things, but there sure are a lot of people suffering um, unnecessarily in this region, some amazing people.